You are someone who is a diligent exerciser, someone who counts calories, avoids greasy burgers with bacon and double cheese, but you still have love handles, a muffin top, or a beer belly that keeps getting bigger. Dr. Natasha Turner has some reasons why. She's a naturopathic physician and a best-selling author. Her newest book is once again about hormones and imbalance. It is called The Supercharged Hormone Diet. It is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Natasha Turner back to Studio 4 to tell us more. Hi, thanks nice for having me. Nice to see you again. Yes. So Wayne Dyer, you quote him in here, he's a pal of mine and a very inspirational mm -hmm. guy, uh, says you can set yourself up to be sick or you can choose to stay well. Mm -hmm. I know most of us don't think about trying mm -mm. to stay well until you have some sort of a symptom. No, and he said to me, right. he's got leukemia as you may yeah. or may not know, but he said, uh, I've got leukemia, it doesn't have me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. over to the supercharged hormone diet, what do you mean by the supercharged <laughs> part? Well, um, you know, the, the first book became a number one bestseller within a week mm -hmm. of its release. And uh, this book is really based on the feedback from, from the readers and from the experience. Uh, we put people through the program in group format in my clinic in Toronto. And this is completely based on the feedback from the, from the readers and the people experiencing this process. So it is very streamlined. The, pro the program is very intensified. It is so simple that anybody could follow it. It. The biggest, um, the, the thing about my first book is I really, I think I broke the concept of the relationship between your hormones and how they control every single aspect mm -hmm. of weight loss. And it was a lot of science and I, I had a lot of feedback saying, give me the program in, in a way where I can get started right away. And it's simpli totally simplified. And, and uh, basically that's exactly what this book is. So to make it totally simplified for us in 10 minutes. That's right. Uh, I know, beautiful broccoli, glorious green tea, mm -hmm. fabulous flaxseed. Mm -hmm. What else? What's, what's the essence of well, it? The, the thing is, is that we all are going to follow the exact same program to set the foundation of hormonal balance within 30 days. So right away, everybody follows the same four-week nutrition program. And because I'm a specialist in, in preventative health, the first thing I want people to identify is foods that could be a problem for them. So it begins with an anti-inflammatory detox where we take out all the foods that could trigger hormonal imbalance, all of the foods that could be t potentially allergenic, and anything that could trigger inflammation. So immediately, uh, we notice you have less bloating, less water retention, uh, better sleep, better energy. Mm -hmm. um, and then what we all do is we introduce those foods one at a time. So basically, you know how babies, we, sure. where we, we look at the relationship between mm -hmm. when you're introducing foods with babies, do they get bloated, do they get colicky? And that's exactly what I want everyone to look for here with this program. Okay, so, so you go on what's called the sparse diet or the sparser diet. When you, what do you eat when you're in the beginning stages? Well, the thing is, is that um, there's no calorie restriction in the beginning stages. So we just want to take out certain groups of foods. Mm -hmm. So those foods are red meats and dairy products and gluten because we know it triggers hormonal mm -hmm. imbalance. So that's breads. Corn, uh, oranges and grapefruits. I had one patient. She had Oranges and grapefruits. Absolutely. Mm. She, had, she had stomach pain for 25 years and it turned out to be the half a grapefruit she was eating every morning. Really? That's I have right. a friend who's allergic to citrus. Exactly. Big thing for headaches. So, so that's the thing is that I don't want you to just eat for hormonal balance. I want you to also look and feel your best so that you can choose the exact foods for you. So that's what the first two week stage allows you to do. Okay. And then you have to start thinking about eating for hormonal balance, which is all about choosing the right foods at the right times and in the right combinations. Uh and what does that have to do with our sugar levels going up and down? That has everything to do with the sugar levels going up and down. You start to eat for glycemic balance, and when you do that, you stabilize insulin. I talk about a few major hormones in the book that you need to optimize balance for to age the best you can age and to get rid of belly fat, and number one is insulin. So when you choose the foods in the right combinations at the right times, you'll actually lower insulin, and insulin is the only mm -hmm. hormone that is always telling your body to store energy as fat. Okay, it is. Yes. And so the only hormone telling your body... The only one. That's right. So getting your insulin balanced, very important. How do you know if it's not? 
You Aside know what? from the fact you have a beer body, uh, a beer belly, <laughs> or a beer body, <laughs> and, you know, muffin top and all of that, exactly and you right. have fat in funny places. Mm -hmm. um, in women, if you have back fat on the back of your arms, bra fat, uh, belly fat, love in, in the love handle areas, immediately those are signs that your insulin is out of balance. But in the short term, we don't feel very good either. You'll have more cravings, you'll have increased hunger, you'll have uh, almost like an obsession with food. And I had a patient last week, she looked at me and she said, who would have thought that four weeks ago you could tell me that I would not have cravings, I would not have hunger, and I wouldn't feel deprived. And it's because within four days of eating in the right way, you'll actually mm. lower your insulin levels and all of those symptoms will go away. Um, and in the long term, the benefit is obviously lower cholesterol, lower lower blood pressure, decreased risk of heart disease, decreased risk of, um, of, of certain types of cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer. All of these are linked to high insulin levels. So that's sure. one hormone that gets balanced within the 30-day plan. The, the other Who hormone, checks your insulin? Let's just start, start there. You go to your doctor and say, I want to see if my insulin is spiking every two seconds. Right. How do you check that? I actually, blood test what? I actually have a whole uh, chapter on blood tests. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, before, I, I put that at the beginning of the book, but mm -hmm. really, you want to do it at the end of the 30 days because the first 30 days changes your hormonal balance so much. But one of the most powerful hormones that you can test is your insulin levels. And it's best to do, um, think about, we all test for diabetes, mm -hmm. but we test for diabetes by doing your fasting blood sugar. Right. Really, you should be looking at your risk for diabetes by looking at your fasting blood sugar and your fasting insulin. And then I want you to go and eat pancakes, syrup, and orange juice, and I want you to go back to the lab two hours later and test your blood sugar and your insulin again. The first sign that you're starting to have a problem with your blood sugar and your insulin balance is high insulin after a meal. So you can no matter what the meal? No matter what, preferably loads of carbohydrates, right? Right, because that so, would trigger your a lot insulin, of insulin up. Right, but if you have a healthy metabolism, you won't have the high insulin levels even after you've mm -hmm. eaten a load of carbohydrates. But so people that tell you that they uh, don't overeat, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. that they exercise and do all of that and still gain weight are telling you the truth. They absolutely are. Because we always have in the back of our minds, they must be closet eaters. No, no, no. <laughs> they must be yes. getting up in the night, it's you true. know? Unfortunately, but that was the case with me. I mean, I followed the exact same program in the book. I was, at the time of my diagnosis of a hormonal imbalance, I had a deficiency of thyroid hormone. So mm. um, and my theory is if you have a deficiency or an imbalance of any one hormone, and I talk about 17 different hormones in the book, um, your ability to lose weight and keep it off will be compromised. So low thyroid can Absolutely. cause you to gain weight. You can have low thyroid and not gain weight. That's right. Uh, Yes, you can. You can, because I've can. got that, and it doesn't right. seem to be my issue. But you don't. You don't. Who you knows don't, what is? You don't look to, like you gain weight. <laughs> but the other big hormone I think that makes it a bit unique, um, the the detox process in this book that I talk about, it was so important because uh, obviously we're looking at the link now between toxins in our environment mm -hmm. and toxins in the skin care and toxins even in the plastics and the pesticides. All of these tend to act like estrogen in the body. So all, anybody that's overweight, men or women, we tend to have too much toxic estrogen. Mm, we talked about that earlier when we talked epigenetics, yes. a little bit about it. But right. so if you, why do you have like estrogen belly, as they call it, estrogen a beer belly? Estrogen belly, men develop breast tissue. Women, if you're younger, premenopausal, you'll have more weight around your hips and your thighs. Uh, Postmenopausal women will have more weight around their belly. And it's two things. Number one, we're accumulating too much estrogen in the environment. Um, right. Number two, our body's making more estrogen because the more fat we have, the more estrogen will produce, which fuels more weight gain. So I talk about the importance of doing a 30-day detox in addition to the dietary changes that I, that I mention and I recommend. And there's four complete weeks of, of recipes and meal plans. It's very mm -hmm. simple. However, I tell you certain nutrients that you could get at your local health food store that will help your body eliminate that harmful estrogen. Turmeric, calcium deglucarate, green tea extract, magnesium. Amazing magnesium for getting rid of toxic estrogen and for stabilizing your insulin levels. So everyone follows the same 30-day plan, but at the end, you might still have signs of hormonal imbalance, uh, fatigue, hair loss, uh, sleep disruption, anxiety, maybe still have belly fat. 
that's when you'll do the hormonal health questionnaire that I have in the book. And that will identify any specific hormonal imbalance that you might still have. Mm -hmm. And so you graduate from the program with your own personalized prescription. Sure, which makes sense. Absolutely. Because we uh, have to treat our bodies as our bodies. Right. Not your body, my body. That's right? right. And you, you may be allergic to orange juice. I'm not. That's right. But I do know not to have it first thing in the morning. That's right. Yeah. 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 Have a peanut or something. Even well, <laughs> better for you that's right. in the morning. Or almonds. Or, or almonds. almonds. I guess that's yeah. better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An almond and an apple. That's rather right. Rather than a big glass of juice. That's right. That's well, right. Well, who knew? Yeah. But as, as you suggest, anybody can take 30 days out of their life and try it. If yeah. you feel 100% better, you'll keep it. with it. It's the feedback, worth it. There's so many case studies to show the success of this program and I mean within the very first day that's released last week it became a number one bestseller wow. so I'm absolutely thrilled. Good for you Thank and in the meantime so you have to treat patients right? That's right. Let's hope. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Dr. Natasha Turner she's a naturopathic doctor the new book The Supercharged Hormone Diet.